Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are building this CMS application using ASP.NET Core 3 and Angular 10. In the last video tutorial, we implemented the logout functionality in our Angular application. Now our users can use the logout button to log themselves out of the application and our cookies also get deleted as well as we invalidate the authentication tokens by deleting them from the token table. In this video tutorial, before we proceed further with any more logic implementation like implementing the My Account view or the Settings view or the Activity view, first thing that we want to complete is the missing part in this registration form or in the login form. There's something missing over here which is the fonts, icons that we have implemented in our finished project and we don't see those icons here on our input elements that we have used so we should be displaying those fonts i already have the html code or for the fonts but since we have not implemented the library for fonts we would not see them on these uh, input elements of the bootstrap 4 so in this video tutorial i will show you how you can implement font awesome icons library and use the fonts in your project to do so first we will go ahead and open our project uh, let's go ahead and open a new terminal window in the terminal window we will type in the following command npm install at fort awesome forward slash font awesome dash free we are going to be using font awesome icons in this project so you can find more information about font awesome icons on fontawesome.com here is the list of icons that we can use in our projects font awesome has also released a new version font awesome 6 and which will be coming soon with additional icons and styles but we would be using the stable version or the latest version right now is font awesome 5 and here are the example icons that you can use for example if i had to use this specific icon here i could just click on the icon and i will get a html code that i can copy and paste in my html document to display these fonts but in order to make this code working we have to install this library in our project so let's go ahead and install font awesome by typing in the following command which is npm install font awesome font awesome free and then hit enter once we do that font awesome will install the library in our project if we go to the package.json file we should see an entry for the package we just installed and we should see an entry for Fort Awesome. For, uh, and if we go to the package JSON, I should see it here. Here it is. And the version that you see is version 5, not version 6, because that's not available yet. So we will go ahead and use the library. But in order to use it, first we need to go to the angular.json file. And here we need to add the styles sheet reference for font awesome in the styles array so you have added the style reference for font awesome and the file that you'll be referencing is located in the css folder of the font awesome package and it's called all.css we also have to reference the script for font awesome so we have referenced it over here and this script is located in the js folder and it's called all.js so these are the two files that you need to reference in your angular.json uh, file and then you can save our project. Now we have installed the library. If we go to the registration form, I have already added the font awesome uh, code or the HTML tags or codes that we use to display the fonts. So we should be able to see it on our registration form. So we will go ahead and go to our application and the page should be refreshed. If you don't see the icons, you can restart your 
application from Visual Studio IDE and you should see the library implemented and you could see the font awesome icons on the registration form and even if we go to the login form we should see it over there as well so I've implemented the code for the icons and since I've implemented the code it has picked up the type of icons that I have implemented and it's displaying it on the form itself so in this video tutorial I showed you how you can implement font awesome icons in this angular project how to install and use it so go ahead install and use font awesome icons and if you want to use any other font library font awesome icon or some other library that you prefer you can go ahead and install it as well for this project i will be using font awesome icons so the code will be provided in the devops repo if you are interested in the source code the link will be in the video description and also if you have any questions use the comment section not forget to like and subscribe the channel tech howdy thank you